the Master Punch and Shear is a real workhorse of the master range of tools. The shearing function makes it a useful and robust guillotine for flat, square and round mild steel bar. To cut, you simply slide metal bars into the aperture and if necessary, use the adjusting screw to keep the bar level during cutting. Then operate the lever firmly to achieve a nice clean cut. If you're using your cut lengths of bar to make scrolls, cropping the bar's corners can help to provide a neat and professional finish to your work. The small blade has two cutting edges, so when one edge becomes blunt, you can swap it round and use the other edge before having to replace it. You'll also note that there are special adjusting screws to set the gap between the large and small blades. These should be regularly checked and adjusted to ensure a good clean cut is maintained. As the name suggests, this tool can also be used for punching holes in mild steel bars. The ability to punch is handy for making general fixing holes, but it is especially important for joining metalwork together with our riveting system. To ensure a hole is punched down the centre of a steel bar, use the adjustable platform to set the height for the width of the bar you're punching. To punch, you simply place your bar in the slot of the punch block and line up your mark with the centre of the slot. Pull firmly and smoothly on the lever and feel the satisfaction of having punched a hole in solid steel that would take much longer if you were using a drill. Imagine trying to drill a fixing hole on a curved edge such as this. To prevent damage to the punch pin, we recommend that you always support the weight of the bar during punching and retract the handle fully afterwards. An extra feature of the Master Punch and Shear is its measuring bar, which can be employed in both cutting and punching operations. Before using it, follow the instructions supplied with the tool, to ensure the measurement pointer is accurately calibrated. When cutting, you simply roll out the tape measure and stop when the tape measure reads the length of bar you wish to cut. Then feed the bar through the shearing aperture until the end touches the inner face of the arm on the tape measure carriage. Now you can cut the bar, and if you need to do this repeatedly, you can be sure that they will all be the same length. When punching, you can either measure a distance from another reference hole, or from the end of a steel bar. The tape measure carriage has an upright bar on which a pointer is located. Simply roll out the tape measure to give the required distance and then place either the reference hole over the pointer or rest the end of the bar against the pointer accordingly. Then pull the lever to get your accurately positioned hole. An ergonomic feature of this tool is its interchangeable handle, which allows you to cut or punch in whichever direction you want the handle to move. We have thought of everything to ensure the tool is comfortable and easy to use. The standard master punch and shear is factory fitted with the punch block and pin for punching 5mm diameter holes. However, as an optional extra, we can provide the tool with accompanying block and pins for punching 6mm and 3mm holes. 6mm holes are really useful for fixing metalwork projects to walls, whilst 3mm holes allow it to work with the rivet sizes commonly used with our practical tool range.